Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 387. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, 654. I had no idea. Right. Uh, yeah. It, uh, and then it's weird that we're so loud compared right. to that. Right, right. Uh, yeah. I'm hey, Annalise. I'm Neil. Oh, that's right. <laughs> hey, uh, welcome. Um, uh, yeah, what, what? I'm Neil. Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm Neil. <laughs> no? How do I do it? Thanks, everybody. Uh, Dark welcome Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. I'm Neil. Uh, and then I say, well, I'm Annalise. Dark, this is... Welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks episode, whatever. I'm Neil. I'm Annalise. Dude, is that what I say? I'm Neil? Yeah. That's what you say. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> you don't say that part. I, it sounds weird. Do you say hey, that part everybody, in your welcome head? welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks <laughs> episode 387. I'm Neil. I'm that's Annalise. How, that's it. Yep. I'm Neil. Mm-hmm. I'm Annalise. Hi, Annalise. How are you? We're five, oh, that's the whole we're thing. We're five minutes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Now I got it. Uh, we're a weekly podcast, mm-hmm. and we get together, and we chat. Well, we're already We're together. married. <laughs> yes. We live in California. Mm-hmm. Uh, we don't edit, except for last week, I had to take some tings out. Super sorry about I that. I just dropped the volume. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we just, we try, we, we try to be as honest as possible, and we, do, and we talk about our lives. Yeah. And we tr- like, have to have, try to have a good time. Yeah. Not, it's not always fun. It's Hence not always. why we stopped for about a year. <laughs> well, there's other issues that aren't always fun, like our issues or other people's issues that aren't always a good time. So. Oh, sure. But we talk about those too. We do. I'm just saying sometimes they get to the point oh, where you got to take a break. Shut this off. I'm going to shut this off. Please do yes. shut that off. Right? Although an alarm will probably go off. Because that's, <laughs> that's how these Can things work. Can you not work. stop that? I don't know. I'm not, I don't have time for that. Science is hard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're well, talking about my phone, <clears> by the way. Right. Um, it com- your phone uh, dings every Call occasionally. Me, um, little face, puppy faces. <laughs> Speaking of puppy faces, um, we always do this disclaimer about we have dogs and there's some chewing bear, in the background bear, because we give them <laughs> bones to chew on while we're recording. I don't know why we have a disclaimer of that. Um, only because a couple people not, have asked about well, it, so I think we're past uh, that or whatever. But still, yes. Um, also, Our dogs are part of the podcast. So is us drinking, and so is ice. Clinking. Yes. Some people don't like the ice clinking. <laughs> See? God, Good. she's such a little brat. I, I know. Well, let's talk um, about that. Let's talk about our dogs. Let's talk about dogs, baby. Let's talk about you and me. I'm not sure it has all that much to do with me. Woof, 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 <laughs> that we, to um, be. we have let's two dogs. We have a girl and a boy. Dogs. We have Quattro and We talk about them all the time. We do. Anybody who's listening that doesn't know that doesn't uh, doesn't listen. Well, hi. Welcome to the podcast. Let's talk about the dogs. So um, right now, Nine is in here. Princess Nine is in here with her, I guess, bone. I guess she mm-hmm. probably... She it's cow knee bone. She it's cow knee bone. Took one Baby. and hit it, and now she has another, and she's in here. So that's why you're going to hear it. But um, nine is a I don't. I don't know how much with these mics that picks up anymore. Okay. You um, tell me. I don't listen. No, back. I, right. Exactly. So I was going to say that you can hear it a little bit. It's in the background. For a little sure, bit. Which is and if you couldn't hear it, I wouldn't mention it at all. To be gotcha. honest. So um, anyway, let's talk about our dogs. Okay. What do you want to talk about? Um, I want to talk about they tried a new camp, and we'll talk about that just a little bit. Not obviously because it's you know. Oh no. Can we talk about something else first? Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, We are planning to do a live show Mm. in two weeks for our nine-year podcast anniversary. We believe it will be Saturday, March 25th. If you're listening to this after March 25th, you missed it. (laughs) Super Uh, sorry. At 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's all I have to say about that. Please join us. By live, we mean it'll be on YouTube live. We'll be doing, I mean, all our shows are live since we don't edit. But you can join us and chat and hang out. Uh, It'll probably be a little longer of an episode. Right. Um, And that's the plan. So join us March 25th, Saturday, 3 p.m. PST on the Tuber. And it's uh, YouTube.com forward slash at Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. (laughs) You can also just go to our website, darkangelsprefix.com, and find it through there. Like as the well YouTube, as we so. will tweet out links and yeah, but like not that, every, so. people don't do Twitter. I, I know, Ever since I that just, guy bought Twitter, Twitter's not as cool anymore. I know that guy. <laughs> love the cars, love the solar. Not a big fan of the dude. Yeah, well, well, actually, I don't really care about to, the you dude. You have to be. He's you got have his, to be able to separate. He's got his own thing going. Yeah. Whatever, man. All right, back <laughs> to the dogs. And now back to the dogs. <laughs> Um, I was just going to say that we tried out a new uh, dog camp this week. And um, because, you know, we are always trying to find new and closer dog camps because we do have a favorite, but is quite a bit a ways. When you don't have kids, you spend your time doing stupid shit. 
Well, I, I think that even people with kids probably take their dog to an occasional daycare and or sleepover, you know, where they have to board him or something like that. So anyway, um, or her, we keep trying to find uh, one that's cool and closer. And um, so we're, we tried a new one this week. And it, oh, it's always so surprising to me that and we joke about this between ourselves, but uh, this is for everybody else's version that like when they give you feedback. They're, they're like, oh, your dogs are so great. And I'm like, whose dogs? Yeah, what are you talking about? Whose dogs? Not our dogs. I will I will say uh, <laughs> this place is great. Mm-hmm. We will definitely take them for daycare. like daycare and hang out. Don't know if we'll do overnights because they 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 put their the dogs in crates at night, which is fine. Right. Our dogs don't mind crates. But they're in the crates for about 11 to 12 hours. Right, which is a long time. That seems a little extensive for me. Right. I'm not saying dogs can't handle it, but from the research I've done, it seems a little bit well, long. Well, also, and for us personally, our dogs aren't used to being crated that long. Mm-mm. And so it would be, I mean, they, they would work it out. Their dogs, they're resilient and all of that. Like, okay, what, Whack. what, 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 what? Um, so, I mean, but it's too, when we go on a, our long vacation, I yourself. know, stop, stop. Sorry. Um when we go on our long vacation, I think that's just a long time and they're not used to it. So I'm right. not comfortable. Our with dogs that. Have, However, they have a great daycare. So for daycare, that's great. Our dogs but. have access to the dog run all day and all night through right. a hole in the wall. Um, <laughs> And it's the place fancy, they go, the place hole. they go you, now. You finished it out. Yeah. It's a fancy hole. Oh no, no, it's 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 that correct. That could be the podcast. Fancy, fancy hole. hole. <laughs> Ugh, will we get flagged for that? We might. I don't, maybe we'll see. Maybe if I put hole as W H O L. Maybe. <laughs> um, anyway, we put a fancy hole in the wall for the dogs. And it's an actual so, dog door. Right. And we just told him, we're both like, oh, uh, it's so. Uh, it's this is going to be the uh show for me. Mo- right. Most of the time, it's um. Today's uh. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was busy drinking. <laughs> so the dogs have so for them to be in a crate that long just doesn't. I, I'll be concerned. They'll probably right. be fine, but I'd be concerned. They're just not used to it, and I'd it, you can't go from not being used to it to being in a crate for twelve hours. Like, that's, that's how I am. I don't like to be in a crate. <laughs> like I couldn't hold the bathroom but, for twelve hours without is, having some for notice. The place is very cool, is that a and they're word all very for notice. No, for notice not, yes, nope, that's not a word. Okay, the place is very cool. It's interesting because when I I don't know if it's interesting you tell me if it's interesting <laughs> when I take the dogs mm-hmm. or we go to a new place I send a, a long email mm-hmm. a strongly worded email <laughs> if you will if you will <laughs> that describes our dogs but very honestly right I'm not we are not but I personally am not one of those like she's stealing bones from everybody she's now just- I'm not one of those that say, oh, our dogs are great. And they're, yeah. oh, they're, it, my, every, it's always the other dogs. No, no, we are you the can other totally dogs. totally trust my off-leash dog. For those no, that have no, you listened. Oh, 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 there it goes. It's going down. That's what you get. <laughs> Don't go take his bone. Go get your bone back. You took it outside. They're going to, they're going to argue here yeah, for a minute. Yeah. Um, there might have but to be a pause. <laughs> if you've heard to the pod, if you if you've listened to the podcast, just like we are those people, yeah. our dogs are those dogs. Now they're they are not aggressive. They don't get in dog fights or anything like that. But they're they're she's a princess and he's a frat boy. Right. So it's kind of a pain. They have run of the house. So when I went to and go run of the yard. When I went so. to go check them in, they gave me a tour of the facility. Uh, very nice. And we were talking about the dogs mm-hmm. and I was just telling them, you were super honest. This is how it is. And they're like, <laughs> you know, it's interesting because most of the people that are honest about how their dogs are usually have the best dogs. Right. And so when I picked them up, they said they were great. Everything was fine. Yeah. They had a great time. They were exhausted. Yeah. Last That's night. That's the great thing about doggy daycare. They sleep for like two days after. And last night they, they had to s- both sleep on me. So yeah. I got no sleep <laughs> at all. I was, I was up this morning at like two 30 <laughs> playing on my phone. Yeah. I finally got out of bed at four, which I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and it, which wasn't bad. Cause uh, we'll, we'll get into this, but I've, I got a new Xbox. Mm-hmm. And so I was all, I got to play. You're in the raring game. to go. I play raring the game. to go. <laughs> but it, no, it was, it was fun. And they did, they did really well. And this place is cool. Cause they send you like a detailed, email on yeah. who what dogs they played with and what they noticed and, and they snap. post on their social media like every day so there's a really good chance you get a pic of your dog at daycare which is honestly fills my heart and for those of you <laughs> listening around the world we suggest that you come all the way to napa to board your dog whenever you go anywhere all right let's move on I, I, yeah. I, i've anyway. had enough of the dogs for the last two days <laughs> anyway my whole point was that we're trying a new place and i think it's just funny kind of like i i don't know how like 
other people's dogs are or whatever but like when you get the report back like they're like oh your dogs are so great and i'm like that's not our dog no what are you talking about no your, your report doesn't make sense to me mm-hmm. i think this was for someone else's dog yes because our dog is not that dog. that's not our dog <laughs> but of course man, i don't know if it's like going to the vet or whatever then all of a sudden they turn into like the perfect dog <laughs> are you all bummed out you got yelled at yeah huh yeah that's what you well, get, but that, that means he has two bones no she has one outside oh you only give him two Yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Anyway, okay. So we'll move on from that. So I would like to. <laughs> well, you already brought up your Xbox. Let's talk about that. Mm. We got a new... Ex- I don't want to say your. It's okay. our Xbox, but... It's what? Our. Our what? were. I can't do it. Our? Our were. Our? Nope. What is wrong with my mouth today? I don't know. Our? Yes. Thank you. It's okay. our Xbox. Nope. It's our. <laughs> nope. The, it's our? capital letter R. What your lips have to do something weird. Our were well, like, <laughs> well, it's like when our, when just think our, of the hour, like what hour, hour is it? Right, exactly. Uh oh, that was annoying. So we got a new Xbox Series X. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I like gaming. I don't. I try not to game a lot because I get obsessed with gaming, as Annalise has seen through <laughs> periodically. <laughs> But fortunately, I'm one of those that like I'll do it when it's when I can. I, I'm not You're, a you go through phases I, when you I, can or yeah. and I won't. Um, what is it called? Shirk my responsibilities. Right. Oh, not yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I still do everything I have to do. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not like you don't go to work so you can stay home and play a video game. Oh no, I, I definitely would do that. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Have done it. Will continue to do it when the new Forza Motorsport comes out. Often. We'll take the day off. Like, Absolutely. <laughs> Not even a joke. Gonna happen. Um, I was, but I won't like I'm just trying not, to back you up here. Come on. No, I won't like not wash the cars or not mow the lawn or not work out or not. You'll get up play early with the dogs and feed or the, walk dogs. the dogs. Right. I, everything still happens. I just sleep less. I just sleep less <laughs> and fit video games in whenever right. I can. Fortunately, it's been raining a ton here in California, which is odd to say. Right. Because our property taxes are way too high for this amount of rain. Uh, but I, True story. since we don't have a lot to do on the weekends, get all the chores done and then I play. But man, do I play. It's embarrassing because <laughs> the game I'm playing, which is Forza Horizon 5, what, it shows you how long you've played. And it's like you've spent, you know, 17 hours in first place. And I'm like, well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Maybe I should go do something and then yeah. I'll come back and play some more. Yeah. Well, and I'll even do things where like I'm like, I'll work out. Mm hmm while i'm playing yeah so i can't have obviously race or shoot people in the face with like with modern warfare but i will because i like to paint my cars and 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 uh what do you call do updates and like no no um, no uh um what's it called customize thank you so i will be doing that so i'll you know work out in my 30 second to one minute break in between my sets you'll run inside i'll run inside and (laughs) paint my car and then run back out so it's not good but it's fun. Yeah. And I've been having a good time. <laughs> so like And I've almost completed the game. <laughs> when but I get the up expansion comes out in the morning, at the end of the month. I can smell coffee and hear engine noise. Right. And, and hear like, the hear the ooh, probably ooh, hear, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And the dogs are asleep next to you on the couch. <laughs> they're they're asleep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when you get up in the morning, I have to say, uh, most mornings I'm like, oh yeah, I must be close to getting up time. I'm just going to lay here for a little while longer. But this morning I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> what oh, time is it? Oh, really? I woke well, you up? I was already awake. Oh, okay. Because I had just gone oh, to the bathroom. Oh, when I shut like, the before. door? Yeah. Mean? Oh, gotcha. And so, but I was like, what time is it? Like three? What's happening? <laughs> so. It was early. Yeah. But they were not letting me yeah. sleep. Or no, they were. They were asleep. They yeah. were just no on one, me. No one wanted to sleep with me, but that's fine. <laughs> uh. I, if you do play Xbox, uh, on the show notes, I'll have my gamer tag, which is NRCX and mm-hmm. then 67, but, which is funny because everyone thinks 67 because I was born in 67, but I wasn't born in 67, right. but it's for the dogs, right. six and seven. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have minded. <laughs> I think that if you know us or know Neil, that you know that. But yeah. um, I was going to say that. Also, um, what games NRCX are you currently 67, playing? 67. So I, I, I am terrible at picking emails. Mm-hmm. My one of my first emails ever was VXSIXX. Mm-hmm. So good luck telling somebody on, and back then mm-hmm. since email was kind of new, usually you were on the phone a lot and they'd be like, "Oh, well we can send you an email. What's your email?" So over the phone to tell somebody it's VX 
S I X X, you know, and it turns into like Victor Victor X Ray Sam Indigo X Ray X Ray, and they were like, okay, listen, man, <laughs> just a nice like Neil Forty Eight would be good. You should work on that. So I'm like, cool. Next time I get an email, I'm not gonna do it. Next email, and the email I've had for freaking twenty Ever, years yeah. or whatever, N R C X sixty seven. Yeah. So people are like, do you spell out the 67? Is it the number 67? What's going on? That's funny. Anyway, I'm playing, right now I'm playing uh, Forza Horizon 5 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 17. I don't know which one it is. (laughs) The latest one? Whatever. Right. Yeah. But, um, so we were going to say that um, we, I mean, we want it in an Xbox, but it also becomes... Um, apparent that at some point your games don't, like well, you want a new, new game and they'll only Xbox. play the new one. Yeah. And, the and, new one's coming out. And, and we hadn't gotten a new one in a very long time. So. I had an Xbox One and it was, it would like sometimes, and we, and we got the Xbox One right when it came out. Right. So it's it's, it's old, old. Yeah. and it would, I'd be playing a game and it would just kind of go, it's yeah, I'm done. Tired. I'm, I'm done. Speaking I'm going to shut which, off are now. You gonna... Yeah, I'm going to hook it up yeah. in there. I just, I, I was too busy playing. To yeah, right, right. No, you were busy. <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I was busy I driving. Was busy. Yeah, I was very busy. 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 <laughs> That's too funny. So, uh, I do not have the full driving setup. I still use the controller, but uh, that's fine. Yeah. I don't need a whole driving thing. And it's nice that you can still sit on like the couch with the puppies and all of that and mm-hmm. like comfortably. Yeah. I, in my opinion. And then on but, the other TV, we can have our our, our soccer <laughs> matches on. Well, we're not playing. They're not right. our teams. Not my teams. But um, I was going to say that <laughs> I mean, I was going to make a joke where like, I don't know who I am right now. I'm like super in to sports right now, which is super unlike me. Like, um, I don't, as, is we, it? Well, in the past, like, I really like tennis. And yeah. so, like, I will get up early That's and I'll sport. record. Yes. But I don't watch it all year round. I watch it here and there, and I'll, I'll watch Wimbledon. Watch and sometimes NASCAR I watch the French Open all the time. Only because of you, I never watch NASCAR still watch before it. that. I do, and um, so now I have, now that I'm watching soccer all the time, mm-hmm. and it's on every channel, and I can only record some of the channels. So I record. It's on every channel. It's all all the time, <laughs> all the channels, mm-hmm. all the time, and so. But there's only certain channels I can record, and so um, I'll record what I can, and I'll try to watch what I can. But I miss so much that I keep checking, I'm like the stats and things like that. And then, like, it was a couple of weeks ago, I just kind of finally decided, I'm like, who am I right now? Like, what is happening? Like, so I'm currently uh, trying to watch all the soccer, and we watch all of the NASCAR, and then you also watch the F1. So we've been trying to combine and IndyCar. Yeah, our, our schedules well, into fortunately, like, trying to be able to like fit in these things. Fortunately, and, F1 is usually super early in right. the morning. But so is since soccer. You're, since you're up early anyway. Yeah, so is soccer. <laughs> well, for the first ra- race in Bahrain, I was I was watching it while we were walking through Target. Right. And then the, this morning, there was a, a soccer match at uh, 4.30 in the morning. So I just recorded that shit. And I, then we just finished watching it. But... When you watch soccer, do you feel it, it? You need a lot of focus. <laughs> I do. I'm trying all the time to figure out what's going on. What would what you? What would you? Th- <laughs> what, what do you think helps with your focus? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, is there is there a supplement or something that you're taking that that? What are you saying? Say it out loud. <laughs> you don't know the name. You can't remember the I name. I can't remember it? the name. Magic of it. Mike. Yeah. There. You go. I would want to say. I keep wanting to say Magic Mike. You can say Magic Mike if you want. Just want but I don't want to call it that. No, fair enough. So uh, let, we'll try it again. Oh, what? Yeah, we'll try. So <laughs> when you're watching soccer, is there does it require a lot of focus? It does. Is there something that you uh, you use or, or, or enjoy <laughs> that might help with focus? I do. What is that? Magic Mind. Magic Mike. <laughs> God, I love that guy. <laughs> uh, so... We've, we've been talking about it here for a couple of weeks, right. but as a lot of you know, I um, suffer from a traumatic brain injury due to multiple concussions. And I am oftentimes uh, looking for something that will help me focus because aside from the Xbox, a lot of things don't help me focus. Now, I'm not saying that Magic Mind uh, solves the issues of concussions. Right now. <laughs> However, of course. Of course. <laughs> it definitely does help me focus. And uh, so we've been supplementing our morning coffee mm-hmm. with this awesome little elixir shot. Um, and it's it's worked out really well. It's been helping me with concentration. 
And that makes me feel like I function more like a normal person. <laughs> Um, I don't like to drink a ton of caffeine because it does mess with my you do, sleep yeah, right. schedule. Ske- Whoa, what? See, exactly. Whoa. <laughs> schedule. Um, and so Magic Mind is nice because it it gives me that energy boost, but I don't have the crash. I don't have the jitters. And I, and it does, I do, I, I mean, for me, I do feel like I'm, my focus is better. For instance, I'm killing it on this Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> you and sure I'm, are. I'm saying that's Magic Mind. And I've moved up to the expert driving uh, the level of the, the people that I race against. I'm not I'm not going against these highly skilled people anymore. <laughs> and that's all because of Magic Mind. That's what I'm saying. That's so uh, as you as you guys just heard, Annalise just asked me what's in it. And I'm 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 glad she asked. <laughs> So it has matcha, which is basically nature's extended release version of caffeine. It's got one of my favorites, bacopa manioeri, which, like I said before, is... is uh, That might not be how you say yeah, it, but I like it. He works for Ferrari. It's a nootropic <laughs> that improves your attention span, your ability to process and learn new information, and your memory. And I want everyone right now to say bacopa manieri. Say it with me now. <laughs> bacopa manieri. It's got ashwagandha, mm-hmm. which... Delightful. Probably in in Wakanda forever. Um, an adaptogen that reduces stress and anxiety. Lion's mane mushrooms and cordyceps mushrooms. Love mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, and they do amazing things like reduce inflammation and uh, support your immune system. And whose immune system doesn't need support? Everyone. I mean, when you think about it. Everyone. Everyone. I mean, <laughs> you, see, you see people on the side of the road holding their signs saying, support immune <laughs> systems. No, they don't support immune systems. <laughs> Um, let's see. And it's all, it also helps, uh, support higher energy levels. As you can tell, I lost my place in the script, uh, higher energy levels and physical endurance by ramping up the production of what? Glad you asked again, ADP in your mitochondria. My mitochondria is maxochondria because of magic mind. Um, I think magic mind is great. You I, again, once again, um, I actually wasn't uh, feeling so great this week and I had very low energy and yet I still had some coffee and I still took my magic mind and I once again still had a really good week at work and at home, even though this week health wise wasn't so great for me. So I'm still making it happen. and It's awesome. <laughs> so it's helped us out. We think it can help you out, too. And this line I wrote. And so I'm going to say it again. Game changer, more like a brain changer. Uh, so the Magic Mind team has created a super offer for us to share with you. You get up to 56% off your first subscription in the next 10 days and 20% off your one-time purchase with code DAPF. You can get it at www.magicmind.co slash Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, and that's Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks is one word. Use the code DAPF, and that's www.magicmind, M-A-G-I-C-M-I-N-D dot C-O slash Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Use the code DAPF, but hurry the 56 percent. I can't say 56. The 56, (laughs) which is funny because 56 was a band that Nikki Six was in that I really like. 56 percent discount only lasts 10 days from our episode airing date. So again, it's Magic Mind, M A G I C M I N D dot C O slash Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks. Uh, use the code D A P F. You can also, if that was a lot to listen to, go to <laughs> Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks dot com, go to our affiliates page, and the link is right there. But use the code D A P F. And we want to thank Magic Mind for their support. Woohoo! Now I have no idea what we were talking about before. <laughs> That's okay, because we were talking about other things that we were, and video games that we were going to segue into. Mm-hmm. Ready for it? Mm-mm. Oh, no? Are you not ready? No, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Um, you are on an extra podcast. Oh, hell, thank you hell so much. Hell to the bell. I totally... You got to thank Bubba Wheat. And Bubba you gotta, Wheat. And if you guys weren't sure, get ready for it, because Neil's going to talk about Cherry Pie again. <laughs> oh, hey, that song... You can't stop him. You can't fucking stop him. He's just going to keep say talking about it. About it. That's, that's it. <laughs> Um, so I meant to write this down, and I'm sorry that I didn't, but it, uh, the name of the podcast is Lyrical Innuendo, and you can find it on Spotify. Again, that's Lyrical Innuendo. It's episode 35, and it's Cherry Pie, <laughs> and uh, it was just me and Bubba Wheat yep. chatting about Cherry Pie. It's, I really like the 
uh, Bub Wheat's podcast. Uh, he and his <clears throat> co-host, it's a very, the lyrical innuendo, I mean, Bubba Wheat's got a few podcasts, but lyrical innuendo, it's a short podcast and it's yeah. right to the point. It, it punches you in the face. <laughs> you're very happy to listen to it. I think it's average of like it. a half an hour or something like that. Yeah. You're very happy to listen right. to it. And then you, you, you're more, you're a more complete and well-rounded individual when you're done <laughs> talking about sex in songs. Absolutely. I'm just saying. I, I it agree. It was right up my alley. <laughs> it's right up the alley. Right. There are many things that it would right be up right up. the cherry up. pie alley. It starts with the letter A up me. And I was happy. Yeah. I was into it. And in fact, not only did we talk about cherry pie, but we tapped on Nickelback, which people who listen to this podcast and not least knows I am a big fan of. Right. Right. I, yep. it, I don't call it a guilty pleasure because I am no, proud to be a Nickelback it's the, fan. Uh, Gift that keeps on giving. And I invited like myself pie. on to Lyrical Innuendo to talk about a Nickelback song at some point. <laughs> Hopefully that'll happen. Look forward to the repeat But guests. I wouldn't be surprised if Bubba Wheat was like, I've had enough of you. You don't shut up. Before we started recording, I think I spent a good 10 minutes going, you're going to have to stop me because I will steamroll the whole episode. Right. And I will not shut my face. <laughs> But I had a good time. It was it was a lot of fun. Oh, it's a good time. Yeah. It's interesting when you're a, a guest on a podcast where you don't know the person all that mm-hmm. well. Like it's right. not like Bubba Wheat and I hang out. You know, if right. I do a, a, a podcast with Matt or well, a lot of people, a lot of podcasters now <laughs> uh, that we've known over the years, right? You, you kind of feel like, oh, we're just hanging out. This was a little a little more like, oh, was he a little professional? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I felt very much out of place. <laughs> No, 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 no. And um, but but it but immediately, right? Just it was a good time. That's so awesome. it was it was fun. So I hope people enjoy it. Check right. it out. Lyrical innuendo episode thirty four. Well, check them all out. Yeah, thirty five. Uh, Go one five. through thirty five. Right. After thirty five, you can keep listening if you want. But I would demand <laughs> the lyrical innuendo <laughs> at least, and that. they do yeah. a Nickelback episode soon. So I'm back on. I say, <laughs> put in your request now, people, <laughs> and say where is the Nickelback episode? Right. And it's not Nickelback. It would actually be a song. But you get my right. you get my point. That's pretty funny. Yeah. That's all. Thank you for bringing that up. Because <laughs> I, I wrote it down, but I didn't write any of the information down. Right. I got it. I got it. Oh, you know, I, I should probably uh, tell you what the Bubba Wheat's uh, Twitter handle is. So Let's you, freaking you just, do it. Uh, oh, my God. What's my um, password? I got it. Don't okay. worry. I'm all on top of it. <laughs> What's my password? <laughs> I have something Bubba here. Bubba uh, Wheat's Twitter Spring handle clowns. is Bubba Wheat. So there you go. At Bubba Wheat. There you go. I did want to, I was, when I was driving the dogs to the boarding place, was it when I was driving them? Oh no, I was going to pick them up. Mm -hmm. And because we've had so much rain here, a lot of the roads around us are closed because of flooding. So there was a ton of traffic. It was Friday. It was just crazy. It was going to, well, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It was going to take me 35 minutes to go uh, what usually takes 20 minutes. So, well, I guess almost twice as long. So, (laughs) but there was a, a person in the car in front of me in an old, not too old, but an older, kind of beat up Toyota Corolla, mm-hmm. um, but not super beat up. Like it was just older. Yeah. And whatever. Well, well Doesn't matter. Well yeah. loved. It, well used. <laughs> Nothing against the car or the condition it was in. The person driving it um, was in a real hurry. Was trying to pass on the shoulder. Oh, really? But unfortunately, the car didn't quite have the power to make it around. I mean, we live... Also, with flooding, there's water and whatnot. There are (laughs) many different vehicles around here. uh, But there are also a lot of nice, fast vehicles around here. (laughs) And this little Corolla... Was just happy, but it wanted to go. Right. But it, it it couldn't. Right. And it was really kind of funny to watch. But the person was driving like Ag- an a hole aggressively, very aggressively. Yeah. So anyway, and traffic was just there was nowhere to go anyway. Yeah, and everyone's looking at him like, really, dude, you have nowhere to go. So finally, <laughs> um, it's it's funny. I was I was behind him, and then he took off driving on the shoulder and going off the road and doing all this stuff. And about five minutes later, I was right behind him again. And I was not driving all over the place. Right. Um, You're but kind then, of a grandma. <laughs> but I, I could I could see, because uh, no tinted windows or anything. It was right. a nice little old Toyota Corolla. Yeah. Um, he, he was fully face, not fully, but mostly face tatted, neck tatted with a teardrop eye tattoo and was like, 
I mean, usually the teardrop has prison connotations attached to it. Usually. And, uh, but it was kind of interesting because I was like, it was driving okay, a very economy kind you're, of car. You're very hardcore, <laughs> obviously. Right. Maybe even spent some time in prison. I don't know. Maybe you just got the tat. But right. I figure at Who that knows? point, if you Who get knows? that tat, hopefully you earned it. Right. But you're trying to pass uh, a bunch of uh, middle aged, because I saw them also, right. middle aged women in their. Um, it's the middle of the afternoon. In their uh, SUVs, right. taking their kids to soccer and couldn't pull it off in your little Toyota Corolla. Again, nothing wrong with the Toyota Corolla, <laughs> but it's not the car right. you buy to race. Also, it's not their fault. So why are you mad at everybody? But it was kind of funny because he was sitting in the car. Fuming? No, like super gangster style. Right. Like I'm super hardcore. And I'm right. like, you're in a white, older Toyota Corolla, which is fine. Nothing it's a fine against car. the car. It just doesn't scream gangster to me. It doesn't. It didn't. It didn't even whisper gangster. <laughs> that should gotta be a whisper gangster. <laughs> whisper gangster. You, I mean, if you could just hint at gangster to yeah. me, that would be better. <laughs> but, <laughs> but he was. So was he, he like? Was, trying was he like to own le- it. leaning oh, time, and like sitting in the time. middle and like? Oh, it was. It was crazy. Could you hear him? Like, very could angry. you see his mouth moving? Very was he yelling angry. at everybody? And like he looked in the rearview mirror and, and I had sunglasses. Were you on, laughing? So I tell, and I'm drinking. A, I'm drinking a cherry coke zero <laughs> in my in my in my little uh, Ford Escape with right. custom plates. That's all blacked out. We're in, in a hurry to pick up the puppies. And I was like, I don't know what is going <laughs> on right now. I'm so far away from you. But dude, you are. Just settle down, killer. I was settle down. cracking up. And so I think he was looking at me because I was laughing. So I'm like, well, maybe just hopefully he'll think I'm laughing at the podcast, right. and not at him. Because I because you were. think he would have killed me. Pretty sure he would have killed me. Right, right. But it was, yeah, it was hilarious. It, the funniest was he part. Was just mad at the world and had somewhere to be? I don't. I don't know, because right. then I was behind him for a very, very long time. And then what's funny is Toyota Corolla is a front wheel drive. Right. And so he, had, he was making a turn where I was going straight. And so it was a stoplight um, and it turned green. I don't know why he waited for it to turn green if he's going to pass on the freaking shoulder. Right. But he, like now we're so going to adhere to the rules. <laughs> he gunned it and um, and then got like big time oversteer. So he pretty much just went straight because it's got front wheel drive and it broke loose. So he had to slow down and then make the turn halfway in the lane, everybody else's lane. But there was no one else coming because he was obeying the laws at that point. So I was like, <laughs> okay. OK, cool. Okay, OK, dude. Yeah. OK. It was great. Okay. I loved it. <laughs> you be you. <laughs> yeah. Like you get after it, bae. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, I have a, a little bit of a funny topic that we were kind of sort of talking about earlier today that mm-hmm. um, has come up because of how much soccer I have been watching and all okay. of that shenanigans. I also have a topic for you to bring up later if you want. Okay. If you don't have it written down, I'm not sure if you do. Oh, so I can I mention it to you so sure. you can bring it up after soccer? Corn dogs. Corn dogs. Oh, we got to talk about yeah. corn dogs. All right. We started talking about corn dogs before. We did. But we have an update. <laughs> we, have corn no, dogs. we have a corn dog update. Um, so um, again, as we were talking about soccer already, um, I've been watching a ton of soccer, and um, and again, recording everything, trying to, and I catch up actually because I don't have time to watch all of the recordings and all of the matches, whatever. So I actually watch the recordings, and I look. I try really hard to like not look at the. To- uh, the match scores and I uh, watch. I like how you're going to say the totals. I right. I try not to look. I, I don't nope. itemize and look at the totals. Right. I'm not an accountant. The totals Math were five. I don't know who <laughs> scored what. So I, 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 you know, try not to look at all the scores and everything. And I watch the uh, recorded matches later in the week. And that's just fun for me. Like, you know, while I'm cooking dinner or whatever. Um, but something that we talk about before is sports uh, euphemisms. And we talked about it in NASCAR before. But boy, does soccer have this shit in spades. Well, it's it's <laughs> tough when there are a lot of boxes. You're right. What? That, that in itself. So many boxes. Yeah. All and, the boxes. And, yeah. and when there's a, a lot of um, squeezing and yeah. touching. Yep. And, yep. Yeah. So I have made a little list of some of the ones I've noticed. And of course, per usual, I don't know what everyone means. I think a lot of them are self-explanatory. But um, I'm going to read them All right. to you, okay? Um, as well as what we've joked about earlier about some of the names and when um, the announcers are like uh, talking about people's uh, names and uh, positions and whatever's happening on the field, and uh, they're talking really fast because not only is the match moving along, so they're trying to get uh, their announcing in there, but 
they're also just kind of throwing in people's names here and there. And uh, they say the names really fast and it don't always catch like the subtle nuances of what that name really is. And I don't think they always um, pronounce every. Well, I think, I think because they're whether, hurrying, you know? whether you say they have a strong accent or their accent is very different than our accent. Right. We're not used to hearing. Right. As well as they're talking really quickly. I know when I walk so. back, excuse me, when I walk back, Watch back. Jesus. Walked back in Mm -hmm. from the garage today. Right. Uh, It sounded like, and the the announcer, to my ears, had a strong accent. To his family, not at all. Not at all, right. Um, Sounded like he said, I'm a bitch. Right. But what he said was, on the pitch. Right. But when I first walked in, I was like, Right. "Eh, Slight accent and talking really quickly. Right. I was like, I feel you, buddy. Right. I'm with you. I've been there. I keep making the titties joke to you. I don't know who they're talking about but there's an announcer who um has again a slight accent and talks really fast for us for me right to me um and keeps saying this uh player's name and every time he says like there's titties and there goes titties and i'm like <laughs> and i just start cracking i'm like there goes the titties <laughs> here come the titties <laughs> all right so anyway, what, do you, what do you got okay. on your list so hi girl butts here are some butts. of the ones that i've heard and i've written down girl butts school and nuts. <laughs> so it's um Good bad touch. He's big and thick. And they grow them big and <laughs> they grow them big in Scotland. And then the other guy goes, "Well, he's from Australia." <laughs> <laughs> it's, you got to watch out for that. That they grow them big in wherever because um, back back in the days yeah. uh, with football players and the African American or the right. black players, um, not it, it's so funny, African American. But I don't describe everyone else as like Irish American or right. Italian American. They're Americans, exactly. Yeah. Black guys um, playing sports. Some people got in big trouble because they said they grow them about big. about yeah. the stock in Africa, quote unquote. Anyway, so so, so that's it. So that's, grow them big in Africa. <laughs> yeah. However, I would tend and to that agree. is something I heard. Yeah. Like I was watching a, a match, and this was just last like last weekend, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> well, uh, and he was a big dude. To be fair, yeah. he was a really big dude. Yeah. So well, I mean, I would. The Irish dudes, you know, right. pretty freaking big. I, Scottish dudes are big. Australian dudes are big. Okay. Co- Irish so, or Scottish? So that's that's the thing. They grow them big in Scotland. And then the other announcer said, well, he was born in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, well, yeah, but, you know. Anyway. Okay. So the next one is uh, beyond, beyond balls in the grass. No idea what that means. Yeah. Um, pulling the goalie, which. Eh, mm, that's not, that's not, not, not too terrible. Exciting. Right. Yeah. Although in in the throes of passion, possibly when you're listening to the game, sometimes <laughs> the way they say pulling when you're the goalie, passionately listening to the game, the way they say right. pulling the goalie makes it sound a little gangbang train like a little bit. Yeah. So um, also, uh, the grass knows the sweat. I don't even know what that means. But are you like, sure that's you heard it? Correctly? Yeah, I, the sweet or the sweat. It, I think it was sweat. I don't know. The grass. Knows I'm not a doctor. The sweat. Yeah. Don't know what that means. Yeah, I'm thinking you might have heard that one wrong. Titties. I don't know. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, he's comfortable on the ball? Of course he is. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Um, exposed to the back? Yep. Sure. Mm-hmm. Got it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Slotted in? Yeah. I don't... What? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, tuck it away? Also? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Uh-huh. I have friends. It's a screamer. It's a screamer. Yeah, I don't... No. Nope. Yeah. I don't know what that means. It, I, I would imagine that in means... In the box? It. Out of the box? Yeah. By the box? Side of the box. Well, I like it. I like it. Well, well, he defend was, the box, protect the box. He wasn't in the box, so he's not going to get a shot. Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah. That's all I got. I'm with you. Yeah. Oh, sports <laughs> euphemisms are great. <laughs> no. Yeah. But soccer's I'm just got saying. soccer's got some because they do the whole you know he right. slid right through there and got it in the box. Right. And you're like yeah. Okay, you're like well I of guess. course he did. But what else? Is how he many times to do? have I come like uh, out of? How many what, times have you come like? <laughs> well. We're going to start numbering. <laughs> I, numbering I, I, we probably should not probably number that. Um, so, like, you're playing the video games. I'm going to go with a solid six. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I'm, you know, doing stuff in the kitchen and watching the soccer. And then all of a sudden I come in there and I say, hey. And I just look at you and I'm like, come on. <laughs> come on, you guys. Come on. And they just, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, anyway. Yeah. You get very excited. I would it. love of anybody listening would send me their favorites if I hadn't touched on them. And if you know what oh, uh, the if grass... Have, and, if I haven't touched on them right, right? there. Right, exactly. If you know what grass and sweat means, please send that along as well. The grass knows the sweat? I don't understand what the fuck that means. It probably means something. I'm sure it does. It all means something, doesn't it? No. No, I don't know. Anyway, that's... You heard, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
that is my uh special I'm a bitch. that's okay. my sketch my special commentary this week you there you go, go. Um, you're welcome <laughs> do you want to touch on your do you want to touch your corn dog <laughs> always <laughs> fair enough <laughs> I do love a corn dog, mm-hmm. as we've just discussed. Um, so we uh, found some uh, corn dogs. To, so we were talking about we eating corn dogs, some. and we were going to buy some corn dogs because now that we're talking about them so much, we've dog. been craving them. And um, we found a more natural version, <laughs> right? Of a corn a dog. slightly nicer, more natural, organic, blah 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 corn dog. Just a little, uh, a little healthier, a little less sugar. Right. <clears throat> little healthier hot dog. Right, it's apple. It's a, still, something like Apple Farms or something still like that. Crap. Right, of but course. not as crap. Not as, as it's less crappy. It's a less were, crappy corn dog. They were delicious. Right, and so we 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 they got little small, a couple though. of right. Well, we did get uh, two. We did packs. get fourteen of them. <laughs> right, <laughs> not quite fourteen, but um, they were really good, and it totally hit the spot, and it hit that craving for me, but. There we go. Euphemisms totally hit the spot. <laughs> but unfortunately, now that I've had them, I might need some more. I almost bought more today. <laughs> I might I need almost bought more. some more. Um, but again... I wanted to fill my hole with the big <laughs> I don't fat think corn dog. I've had a corn dog in probably, you know, I don't know, a very long time. Many years. But maybe 10 years. Seven hmm. years. I mean... I don't know. I don't know. I would say, I, I don't think I've had a corn dog since we've known each other. I have. Because oh, oh. of course you have. <laughs> I have definitely had a corn dog yeah, since I've met you. Whatever. Um. So in my hometown, they still have a Davina Schnitzel. <laughs> All right. So um, I do love a Wiener Schnitzel. What? I don't know. You haven't gone to Wiener Schnitzel since we've been together. Um. Well, I have. Oh what? yeah. You, it because where I live and when I go visit my mom, she likes to have Wiener Schnitzel for lunch. Not since I am no, calling abso- foul. No, absolutely not. No. Absolutely. No. You can call her. I will I'm not saying you never went with her. Oh I'm I'll, saying you've never went since we've been together. Oh, that's not true. You haven't seen your family in like twelve years. Come on. <laughs> Fourteen. Nope. I Ab- don't think you gotta I do they have corn no, dogs They Schnitzel? absolutely do. They have a corn mm. dog special. It comes with fries I'm, and a coke. I'm, I we need to go to they VAR. They have they have corn dog uh, We're nuggets. We're going VAR. Of what are they called? Like the little corn dog nuggets. Yeah, there's like you can buy like a six pack of corn dog nuggets. It's not what they're called. Okay. But that's what they are. Little corn dog poppers, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All so, right. Delicious. I'm going to VAR. We'll find out for yeah, sure. Absolutely. We'll, we'll talk about this on the live show. The Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> I've never been to a Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, they're. Delightful. I've driven by one. Mm. At speed. It's all good. The chili was, cheese fries. I was riding shotgun with tattooed. Will wreck you, was, but deliciously so. Riding shotgun oh. with teardrop tattoo guy and his Corolla. We went flying by a schnitzel. I bet you he knows where it is. <laughs> I don't know. He stops. Maybe that's where dog. he was going. You know what? <laughs> he is a corn dog. He likes a corn dog. He is a corn dog. <laughs> Anyways, we had corn dogs. They were lovely, and now I want to do it again, which is probably not the best thing ever. But today is Saturday. <sighs> I needed to respond to a work email. I needed to uh, ask my boss a question, mm-hmm. thinking he wouldn't check his email till Monday, but I just want to make I sure. I have done that before. And so I <laughs> sent an email today and immediately replied, uh, you're not working today, either am I, and then answered my question. <laughs> but it was kind of funny. I was like, fair enough. Good on you. That happens. That happens. I have a, Do you have something? Because I have no, a question for you. Uh Earlier this week, we received a piece of mail Mm -hmm. that uh, would give us, I don't know, if we went to go check something out, we'd get a free cruise. Oh, okay. Remember remember we talked about cruises? Right. 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 So I said, do you want to go on a cruise? Right. And I was... (laughs) And you said no. So it's really (laughs) funny (laughs) because we talked, I talked about cruises with my mom Mm -hmm. the last time I was there um, (gasps) for dinner. Are they listening? So... What? Are they listening? What do you mean? Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Who's that? My parents? I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Um, don't tell your dad. But so <laughs> I, I am not a fan of cruises. Right. We've um, talked. Yeah. I think we've talked about that because we've talked about vacations and things like that right. before. So. Now that's really not cool of me to say because I've never been on a cruise. Right. I think that the mm, idea of it doesn't excite me. Just because me. I want to be able to leave. Right. I don't want to be on. It's the boat on the ocean that I don't also, like. Also, I want to be able now, if to the boat was like in the air, be at the pool or I the mean, beach by ourselves, which right. would never happen on a boat. No. On a boat. Okay. But in so my, my parents went to Hawaii, which we talked right. about. They got back, fortunately. <laughs> and 
um, so I was talking to my mom and I suddenly understand cruises oh. and why it's why it's a lot of older people like them. Please tell me. <laughs> so my mom had a problem. They went to Hawaii and they went to the uh, memorial, the Pearl Harbor right. memorial and all that. And my mom had a hard time. She's she's older now and <clears throat> she's not as mobile. And so she had a hard time. And suddenly it clicked. And I'm like, well, this is what's great for cruises because, you know, because they had... I, I had said it would be cool to go to the Big Island and see that. But I think then I'd want to go to like Maui or Lanai right. or Kauai for four or five days and just chill. Right. And my mom was saying how, yeah, you know, it, it would be nice, but I can't do the, I can't carry my luggage. I can't do all that. You know, dad can't take care of everything. Right. And then, and I can't remember if my mom mentioned it first or I did, but it made sense that all of a sudden that's why cruises work for older people. Because everything's taken care of? Well, you're there. You have your hotel room. And like if you do a Caribbean cruise, right. then right, you stop at all these different ports. Right. And But you don't have to move your bag. Everything's there. And like you said, the food and all that. You just go in a port for a day. You, do, you see the sightseeing stuff and you're back. Mm-hmm. And it totally made sense. And I told my mom... And this was, I was trying to plant the seed. Mm -hmm. I said, it makes sense now why you see a lot of older people paying for cruises for the family, like bringing their kids (laughs) because they want to travel with their family. But at the same time, the younger ones like us, and we're not that young, but even younger than us are like, we don't want to do a cruise. We're not doing a cruise. If we're going to spend that much money, we're just going to go to Jamaica or Hawaii or, you know, somewhere in the Caribbean. But it totally makes sense because they're like, hey. Come with us for five or seven days. Right. Hang out with us. Because my my um, my parents want to go to Nassau. They want to go to the Bahamas. Mm. And there's a few other islands. And so I was telling them that I think Nassau would be great for them. I think they'd really enjoy it. And we started talking about the cruise. It totally makes sense. They could go. They could spend a day in Nassau. Right. That's really all they want to see is kind of like the downtown area. Get back on the boat. All this stuff is there. The food is there. <laughs> it kind of sold me on cruises for older people. I'm like, that right. makes sense. I get that. Right. But I mean, like. So I'm trying to persuade them <laughs> to pay for a cruise. Right. Well, that would have to be an extra vacation. Oh, because, absolutely. Because like for us currently, I we're not. We're not at that. Of that we're age. Not at that stage our yet. stage. I'm yeah. going to talk from back here now. Of course. Um, so uh, like right now we take these vacations to you know relax and get away and to um chill out and like we think it's amazing if we are at the pool or the beach kind of by ourselves we're like oh my god this was so amazing it's so quiet it's so peaceful you know and we're never going to get that on a cruise so no it's a completely different style of vacation but but i could see how I if you're with add your it parents to my oh, oh, vacation sure. calendar, sure. but I would not do it instead of. But I could see like being with our parents right. on a cruise. Right. It would make it fun because right. it's like, oh, we're just there for them. Well, your parents are cool and fun. And then I mean, it's, that's, it's just yeah, like the that, easy touristy stuff. Right. We're going to board, we can do this and then back on it. Okay, cool. We're going to eat. And it would also be, I think, really cool for your parents because since they have us along, we can help take care of things. Like we can help right. facilitate whatever, you know, the touristy things like arrange a ride if mom can't walk the whole thing or whatever, you know, like it'll be helpful to have us along. But even even on their own, yeah. it totally makes sense because they have yeah. their room, right, they right. have their stuff. There. So it was, it was interesting. It made me see it in a different light and then it totally made sense. Right. I'm like, I get, I get that. that. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of neat. Right. But it was funny because when I said, you know, do you want to go? And you're like, no. And I was like, oh, got to save this for the podcast. <laughs> Like, no, I don't. <laughs> no. And you're like, even if it's free, I'm like, don't. Even if it's free. <laughs> yeah. All right. What else? But you got? I would go with your oh, parents. Sorry. You know, yes. That's all. I don't have anything else. Oh, uh, uh, we that? were going to talk. Oh, that's like TV shows. Uh, I don't think we talked about the new like Maker's Market or whatever. Go ahead. Freaking I don't know what it's called. It. Um, it's not make, it, Maker's Go to Market. Market on the Maker's, maker's Market. It's no. one of the guys from Repair Shop. Repair Shop. The um, Dominic. Dominic, who was Iron the worker. welder. Welder Iron Worker. Right. And so it's a it's a show on Acorn or Britbox, one of the two. It's a, it's a European show. Right. And they bring in two people 
every episode is two that are two, kind of two different makers as two they different call them. makers right and they might be a woodworker they might be a painter they might be a digital a artist seamstress, they might be yeah. seams seamster seamster a lot right. of glass blowers a lot of, <laughs> what and um blow the they, pitch. they have these <laughs> Sorry. Blow the what? Blow the pitch. Oh, I think it's something else. I'm just I'm trying like, to think of better holy soccer hell. euphemisms. <laughs> and uh, so they they have them create um, like a high. What is it called? They do the um, the high end piece, the their favorite piece, and the um, not the, the sellable, but the 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 um, high. Oh gosh, what is it called? Volume. High volume piece. The high volume piece, their high end piece, and their favorite piece. So they make them do three different pieces and they talk about marketing and how to like fix not fix well they're they're these are kind obviously of. people so they're people that want to take their hobby into a profession and right. make a job or make a go of it right and so if they're good then um these people will help them like get in galleries or and obviously set they them mentor them they, they set like them up that, yeah. with a, a professional like if it's a professional what's, if you're a woodworker a professional woodworker that's made it what's really as a mentor. cool is i've noticed now that we've been watching the show for a little bit is that they the mentoring seems to go on longer than like the show because he's like oh i still have been talking to you yeah. and um you know when, when we have our meetings or when we talk which means that they continue to mentor I, them which is a amazing i'd I like think. to find out if if like they have a percentage in because you know they're spending a right. lot of time so i'm right. curious well, to know if there's kind of like a or if it's just they are also getting exposure by being on the show i assume i also assume yeah the artists who are helping i assume get that's exposure. what i mean yeah that's well, what I, I, mean. I i bet they well i don't know it's kind of maybe weird. the show pays them but i don't think they get a percentage of the new of artists the new but i bet they get yeah. again it like i didn't know who any of those people were even the famous artists or whatever before they were on the show. And now I do. Yeah. So, and it's so funny. Itself, there, it's there are the, there are the artists uh, slash hobbyists mm -hmm. who are just starting out and they're more than happy to get all info. And then right. you see the people that are like, no, this is my art. Right. This is how I'm doing it. I don't care what you have to say. And it's like, <laughs> you do realize you're talking to somebody who's made it their living. Right. Like, right. Maybe you a should really listen a little bit. Doing yeah. This. Maybe right. you should listen a yeah. little bit. No, well, this is this is my signature. Well, your signature is not going to allow you to have right. this be your income. Great, go with that. But yeah. that's not going to be your full time. But job you're then. an idiot, right? <laughs> but for um, we have a lot of uh, friends and listeners who also watch their pair shop and love it. And so, if you haven't already discovered that show, it's yeah. out there and it's on Makers Go to Market. I think that's it. <sighs> Something like that. I, I thought oh, it was I Makers Market. I'm not sure. Well, we'll look it up and we'll put it in the show notes and all of that. No, I do the show notes. I'm not doing any extra. I'll work. look it up before you finish. I, I will. I, but the what? show notes are done. What? They're not done. They're done. <laughs> we're still talking. Well, it, we're, they're done. Why are you okay. Uh, Why are you you talk for a second. Makers <laughs> go to. So um, we were also going to talk about market. that. We started watching the spinoff sure. from um, Death in Paradise, which is oh, called. It's called not Death, but still Beyond Paradise. Beyond Paradise, right? Beyond Paradise, and that's been great too. God, I love it. Um, I like all the new characters. I think that's really cool. And it obviously has a different vibe because where it's set, but they try to carry through the vibe. And obviously I've been really enjoying it. Make I think it at market. Making it. Make it at market. Make it at market. Okay. Um, which is okay. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, of course. Um, so Make anyway, it. I've just been really enjoying that. So if you guys have been watching it and there's been a couple people who have tweeted at me to um, ask me if we started watching, I hadn't yet, but now we have. And so now I'm ready to talk about it. If you're ready to talk about it. It's so. <laughs> fun. And if anyone wants to talk about Clarkson's farm, I've watched both of the uh, seasons. <laughs> Neil's ready for you. I'm ready. I haven't watched it, no. but Neil's ready for it's you. It's good. I think you'll like season two. <laughs> What did we just start watching? Holding? Holding. Oh my God. Good show. So awkward. These are British shows so again. So awkward. Holding's a good show. Ooh. And we've talked about recipes for love and murder. Yeah, that's a that's a great one too. All right. Well, I Anyways. think we... Oh, do you have anything else? No, I think we it. should wrap it up. Yeah. Because I sure. got to pee. Okay. All right. <laughs> Neil has to pee. We got to go. So hopefully... <laughs> gotta uh, go. Uh, hopefully you'll join us for our live <laughs> show on the 25th of March at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That might change, but it probably won't. So find us on YouTube. Go to darkangelsandprettyfeaks.com. Check out our our affiliates, our affiliates, as well as uh, find us. You can find our YouTube yeah. link there. And we thank everybody for listening. And you're all awesome. And also uh, check out all the podcasts that I guest on because I'm, I'm awesome. <laughs> Lyrical and you know, episode I'm, 35. I'm awesome. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.